All right. Final Fantasy 16. This is where it shall begin properly. We tried this yesterday. We get to the part where, all right, let's keep this like as if it's a fresh playthrough, all right? We, we, like we didn't play yesterday, but I kind of did. However, as mentioned, um, I had graphic issues. I had audio issues. It was a mess. Today, those issues should be resolved, all right? Like the picture I see and the picture you see should now be correct. It's proper SDR, not HDR. Um, should be working fine and looking correct. Audio issues should be resolved as well. So hopefully, no problems there. So everything we see for the first two hours of the game, let's pretend real excited like, oh, I've never seen this before. It's not like I was invited to an event two months ago where I get to play this demo already. Well, it's the demo bit. Spoilers, they have a demo on the, on, on the PlayStation 5 shop. You should check it out. It's really good. And um, the demo is roughly two hours. It's the prologue of the game, which gets you the basics, builds up the story. That's what we're about to do again. So I want to get through that tonight so that tomorrow night we can do stuff I haven't done before. Okay. Hey, also the volume is proper now. Like, yesterday everything was a mess, all right? Oh, man. <sighs> everything was a mess. Oh, hey, by the way, um, if you're interested, let me give you a link in the chat. Because... The, the title track for Final Fantasy 16, written by Kenchi Yonezu, is now available to listen on Spotify. Here, the link is right there in the chat. And I really like it. Sounds amazing. I listened to it the first time with all of you at the beginning of the stream. Mmm, it sounds good. That artist is real good, Kenji Yonezu. He's also the one who made the um, intro for Chainsaw Man. And in case you haven't seen Chainsaw Man, oh my, that's great. You should watch Chainsaw Man. And once again, I'd like to say how beautiful it is. But if you turn on your PlayStation, and I really like this part where you get to, you know, mouse around. And I like it when a game has music going on to build up the feel. Still weird that Genshin doesn't have any since they have great music. 7 Remake has amazing music. Why is there no sound here? But Final Fantasy 16 has sound on the, the tile overview. Yeah, that's good. I like it. Really, really builds the flavor. Hi, Shooty Ludi. Thank you very much for hanging out. Hey, if you watched yesterday, don't worry. Then tonight is not going to be any anything new in the game. Tomorrow will be where it's getting spicy. Yeah. Hey, once again, um, you know, this is not sponsored by Square Enix or anything, but I'd, I'd still like to give a shout out to them and a thank you for... Um, they did send me the game, actually. They did send it to me, so I could have played it early access and everything, but as you know, they also invited me to a really cool event in Berlin for the launch. Uh, where I have been like last week. So yeah, that was really amazing. It was really fun, really fancy. And by the way, the German voice actor for Clive, the protagonist, his name is Vincent Fallow. And, and that fella is great, real great. But in case you haven't heard the German um, dub for the game, you should check it out actually. It sounds real good too. And he apparently also speaks Jonathan Joestar, so that's just badass. Yeah. You know, I usually play everything in English. I'll do so again as well now. But uh, maybe we'll check out a video later on or something. That could be fun. Yeah. All right. Now then. 
Shall we begin? Give this a proper restart. Yesterday, tech issues. Today, only greatness awaits. Final Fantasy 16. Let's do this. New game. Look at that beautiful intro screen. Ugh. And now it's looking proper. Okay? Yesterday, kind of funky. Today, good. This is good. And hey, by the way, um, you know, I'm capturing this game on my PlayStation 5 with an Elgato capture card 8, uh, 4K60 Pro. Yeah, thank you, Elgato. By the way, I'm hashtag Elgato partner. In case you ever wondered how you get to stream uh, console games, you need a capture card. Yeah. Okay. Now then. Everyone who's still here, thanks for sticking around after one hour of intro chatting. It was a good talk. Glad you're still here. Glad you were here. Thanks for watching. And, um... I'd be excited if uh, all of you can be part of this journey, this experience, this story we get to share on stream. It's the thing I like doing most. Let's do it. New game. This is all good. This is good. Action focused. There we go. It was Moss the Chronicler who said that the land of Alistia is blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals. And that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. It's all about the crystals. Oh! I just never get tired of this part. I like seeing it over and over. The, the game starts and you see the phoenix. And Ifrit! But the phoenix just looking amazing. And if you didn't know, there's many reasons why I ended up calling myself Phoenix as a nickname. But Final Fantasy is a very strong part of it. It's so beautiful! Get him, boy! Oh. Alright. Let's hope no audio issues today. Fireballs! I got this, all right? Power of me hitting triangle? So strong! Get him! Get him! Oh god, hit a one dodge, cool! Oh, I'm so good at this game. I'm just a pro at playing the Phoenix, what can I say? Because I'm using a red controller as well. It's... I'm on brand right now. Uh oh A dodge, see? A literal god game. Okay. That shot. Man. Ferocity of the slight.
It'll be light soon. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. No one else. Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. Let's get this done. Nice trick. He's looking cool, though. Don't you think? I like his style. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. Yes, Sergeant. Yes, ma'am. I said focus, Wyvern. Focusing. We're moving him. Clive is moved by my input. Um, tutorials, we don't have menus, time. stuff. Would you look at that? Hey, the game has a menu. Yeah. Oh, I could save you already. Yeah, let's do that. We override the save from yesterday. Again, All hell is about to break restart with a... There was some mild audio issues earlier. There was like, you sometimes hear like a little crackling. Like the sound cuts off for like not even a split second. A bit weird. Um, but at least it's not that weird distortion effect that was happening yesterday. The other stuff I can still look up. You know, that's not too bothering. But the, the thing from yesterday, that was super weird, and I hope it's entirely gone. Really hope that's fixed. Let's see how it goes. This is the first time through this, right? Y yeah. Y yeah, that, that, that climb is a hip, is a titan with a hip toe. Yeah, 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 you got this. Damn right. We practiced this, right? Hey, Ryu, thank you for hanging out. No worries, more of this tomorrow. Oh, why wyvern? Time to move. They all have like dragon related names. Wyvern, Tiamat, Beast, uh Avis and so on. I We're just in time. I don't know why. Ooh. We we are watching this cutscene for the first time, alright? For the hug. Ooh. Oh! It's so funny how they're all running like, I'm running to battle! Please don't hit me! By the way, uh, very nice touch how the, the main Final Fantasy uh, theme is playing the whole time in the background right now. Really nice touch. <gasps> oh my god, right, there was active time lore. Hold this giant button to access the active time lore feature. Yeah, let's, let's learn. Tell me about the bastards. <laughs> A unit of trained assassins deployed to the Nyssa Defile, deep within Dalmachian territory, and tasked with the elimination of an enemy dominant. Oh. 
the brand. The mark applied to the cheeks of bearers, identifying them as something other than human. The great nations of Alastia have a long-standing accord to brand their bearers in this way, that the slaves might be traded across borders. The man of the fist? Dalmechia Standing Army. While officially an organ of the Republic, each of its five states is granted relative autonomy with regard to the management of its troops. Aside from certain specialized squads, battle deployments, and mostly comprised of small units, blah, 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 blah. The Fist, all right. The Iron Crusade. The fighting forces of the Iron Kingdom. Ultimate command rests within with the king, who issues orders directly to the commanders of each of his battalions. Iron blood soldiers generally prefer heavy clubs and great axes over swords and other lighter weapons. This rather brutal approach is indicative of their overall attitude, which has earned them a reputation on the continent as savage, somewhat primitive. And we are in the nicer defile. During the Battle of the Twin Realms, it was the site of repeated skirmishes as the Iron Kingdom attempted to make incursion into Dalmachian territory. Lots of little intrigue happening here. These iron blood are more beast than man. Where this is going, they won't need this new dominant of theirs. What? Why well, been dragon related? Someone's gonna play monster again. No, right? There's a Nitra stronghold. To the gates! Quickly! Move! What do you mean you refuse? That no. Did you not pledge your swords for our cause? Come now. Marshal, the King of Walud is our guest. And the guest would not like to join. And you have his majesty's answer. <sighs> there seems to be some kind of tension. They're all full of cool tricks. Sitting at the big boy I table. I wonder that you summoned us at all. Have you so little faith in your own men? <coughs> it was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? Besides, your dominant has yet to take the field. What a hunk. And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger the knights. What did you say? Bugger the knights. Should this citadel be allowed to fall? The capital will lie exposed. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. Getting smoked on. Which just leaves me. Kropka! The Iron Blood will rule the day they set foot on Storm. This game is over. Oh, he's got a cool voice. You cock. <laughs> Benedictum. 
Take care. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare? Or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. He's going for the motorboat. I'm not afraid of a little frost, Benedicta. But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. <sighs> Uh -huh. <laughs> I think this is cringe. No, I, I thought it was pretty sexy. The front lines are gone. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. But we're the bastard assassins. Okay. As long as I don't get the weird audio glitch, I'm happy. Cringe? No! This is not cringe, no! <laughs> My lion. <laughs> Got the lion of my own, you know? He's a female lion, though. <laughs> but the hair looks like a mane. <laughs> well, you see, I'm a Capricorn. I'm horny. I'm always horny! <laughs> and, quick and deadly, as always. Ah. Take the van. He's taking the car? What? They have a car? Wait. Something's not right. <laughs> that was not there before. Titan. Titan. Attack on the wheel. Almax finally grew tired of being slaughtered. Oh. Ha. And look who's here to greet the bastard. Everything's looking beautiful. Come on. Such crazy designs. Reminds me a lot. The design of the attack type. Dude. Dutch. You he, don't get to die here. Like he Wyvern. totally Move. trembled over his comrades. Ooh. Hold the thought. Okay. You know, this is pretty damn beautiful right now. It's so nice to play it without the weird, uh, with the different graphic issue I had yesterday and without the audio issues. They're still mildly like the crackling, popping sounds kind of, but at least we don't have the flanger, right? By the way, what I was saying earlier, the horny, Capricorn, horns. 
It's a Zodiac joke. I guess I'll take this way. So them using like those uh, the icons to battle, this is basically the equivalent of using a nuclear blast or something in war. If you compare that, like all the soldiers on the field, they're just like ants fiddling around, and then they're like, you know what? Sure, here's our, our like you know, our icon nuclear blast. Birthday coming up, December 29. <laughs> it's looking so cool. Anytime, Wyvern. Sounds way too chill. What's the lore on any of this? Shiva, the Warden of Ice, whose appearance on the battlefield makes her enemy's blood run cold. The Iron Blood sent Shiva against the Republican forces in the Knights of Defile, where she dueled against Titan, the Icon of Earth. Titan, the Warden of Earth, of whom Hugo Kupka is the current dominant. He takes the form of a stone-skinned giant, whose granite fists shake the earth with every mighty pummel. Titan's dominant awakens among the people of the Dalmekian desert deserts, the recipients of his strength being granted great power and status by the Republic in return for a commitment to protect the nation in times of war. Man, the design is just so sick. So cool. I told you before, you do not get to die here. Brother. Bro. Don't look so flat. Clive! Is that Clive? Would you look at that? It's you, Phoenix, when he was 18 years old. This joke has been brought to you by yesterday. Thirteen summers earlier. Rosalind. If you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stables. Recycling jokes? And what? No, it's the first time I've ever your said that. While sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right? Go on. You're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now. Torgal, good boy. Two arms. It wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. Oh, it's time to fight. 
All right. Bring it on, Murdoch. Uh, Rivers of Common Training? Yeah, let's do that. Let's start again from the beginning. Come, show me your form. Attack the Lord Commander. good such swords oh my god you were right hey the boy does sound like hugo and the girl does sound like amicia oh my god from plague tale oh man imagine i played plague tale and did a replay because i'd never played it before right but like did a replay of plague tale and then played the second one that would be so cool because the voice actors are real good i mean the gameplay is probably questionable not that i would know i never played it before but hey the story was pretty fun Ship will serve you well in the field. Was it? I don't know. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the phoenix burn within you. Now what he let said. them burn without. Come, Clive. Rain fire down upon me. What he said. I'll tell you this multiple times, but I'm pretty excited about this Final Fantasy game because the icons, specifically the phoenix, mostly Ifrit though, are very important parts of the whole story. And as I mentioned before, there's a big reason that Final Fantasy was an influence on me calling myself Phoenix. And without Final Fantasy, there would have been no Cinema Bazaar. I would not be here today without Final Fantasy. Um, a big shout out to my best friend for being like, hey man, I've got this, uh, you know, Final Fantasy VIII right here. You should try this game. I had no idea. Excellent. Great success. Well done. Is it? You wield the Firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? Can be arranged. Let's see if you can elude my blade. He made a flat joke. After all, your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. On your toes, Lord Rossfield. Time to d -d -d dodge. <laughs> Not quite. Oh. How did you dodge that? I was hey. sure I had you. That was amazing. Oh. Nice Ay, caramba. Vamos, my man. Good. Remember, Clive, your blade is not your only weapon. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix, granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on me. Yes. Well, I'm waiting. Here we go. Oh! Good. Fly just looking so cool. Raise his guard. The fire teleport. So sexy. Impressive. But even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. And death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. He's saying sometimes. Speaking of which, my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. Should stay hydrated. That won't do at all. Grab a drink. Have some water. All right. That's better. Yeah. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments, wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory. Or at the very least, to ensure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. It's time for the test. 
You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. I wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. I thought you'd never ask. ask. Come then, Lord Rossfield. Spar with me. Yeah. If you believe yourself worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. Time to beat the shit out of him. As you wish, my lord. His hands look good. Right. boy. Make proof of your strength. Go on. You're sure to beat him this time. Oh. You can do it. No, I got hit. Stay calm. I got hit again. Holy shit. Come on. My god. I kept forgetting that uh, our one was the dodge. Ah. You're taking this seriously. Keep going, Ty. <laughs> Oh! Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Yes. Well, it's time I took my own advice. I used oh, all no. the tools at my disposal. I was literally yeah. testing this before the stream, right? And I did so well. Not a single hit. And now I did so bad. I play bad on purpose for streaming. See? I told you he could do it. Aye. Bested at last. It's taken me long enough. That was a display worthy of your father. You are a true shield of the flame and let no one tell you otherwise. Including me. <laughs> what are you lot gawping at? Back to your drills. Constantly afraid that audio bug is going to happen again. Wait, just give me a moment. I'm gonna pass out here. Nice. Joshua. I was just tired. The Phoenix's flames are a gift. You mustn't waste them. Hold that thought, Joshua. Tell me about yourself. Joshua Rossfield, second son of the Archduke of Rosaria. Joshua was appointed heir to the ducal throne by virtue of his awakening as the dominant of the phoenix. His love and admiration for his elder brother Clive is absolute, and he's only too proud to have him serve as his first shield, his love for carrots less so. Clive Rosfield, first-born son of Archduke Elwyn, a ruler of Rosaria, and the leader of the Defiance of World of Warcraft, that's right. From a young age, Clive dedicated himself to mastering the blade, and his practice paid off when he was appointed first shield of Rosaria, tasked to guard the phoenix, and blessed with the ability to wield a part of his fire. Rosalith Castle, situated, situated at the heart of the ducal capital of Rosalith. It is from this towering ivory fortress that the Archduke and his family rule their nation, an architectural feat the founder himself would be proud of, the castle has stood since the early days of the Dutch Duchy and watched over the rise of this proud nation and the people who inhabit the city beneath. First shield. A title granted to the mightiest and most stalwart shield of the Rosarian army. The first shield is entrusted with the personal protection of the dominant of the phoenix and is gifted a portion of the icon's power of a flame, a boon known as the blessing of the phoenix. To waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <coughs> That's why. You were coughing this morning, too. You shouldn't be outdoors. I'll be fine. It's just a cold. Don't push yourself. His grace has returned. Father's back. Hey. <laughs> Your Grace, please, uh, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Oh, nice. 
Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank Language. You. Your grace, we live to serve. The server lives. Joshua. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. Why are you talking like this? Good day to you, Mother. <laughs> Hi. Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. Hmm. Lord Murdoch? Your Grace. Right. The lore of Lord Murdoch was he's best friend of the father. Right, there was also Jill, born a princess of the Northern Territories. Jill was made a ward of Rosaria after her homeland's incessant raids were quelled by the duchy. She was raised in Rosalith Castle alongside Clive and Joshua, who came to love her as her only child. Annabella Rosfield. Duchy of Rosaria and quite the bitch to be, and wife of Archduke Elwyn and mother to Clive and Joshua. While she adores her younger son, she treats Clive and Jill with naught but thinly veiled contempt. Ain't that nice? Yes, it ain't. What a way to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. But it's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. We should join them. I, w I wasn't born the Phoenix either. Had to wait. Had to get a blessing. There we were. The mighty Chocobo feet. And that right there, the Rosalith Castle. Hey, once again, he's got such a cool outfit. I like it. Rise, my friends. Looks like a proper red mage. Welcome home, Father. Right, an interesting bit, like, um, Joshua's outfit looks a lot like a, uh, white mage in Final Fantasy. With a bit more focus on comet magic, that's why probably, like, more red in his outfit than white. But the colors are there. As well as, like, the black and red for a red mage. Not that I know if he can do anything. Hey, can you tell me more about him? Still not? Okay. Thank you, Joshua. You are well, I trust. Yes, father. Much better. Today, Jill and I went to the bay to watch Clive spa. Is that so? Oh, that's the puppy. Tell me about the puppy. Quiet, Toggle. Stop it, boy. Not now. You'll make a fine hound one day. Father. Lift up your head, girl. What? Thank you, Your Grace. The capital rejoices at your safe return, Your Grace. War is coming, my boy. We must make ready. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, Father. Your Grace. Hmm. Shields dismissed! Nice interaction, though. Toggle! 
just gotta get the butterfly. Where do you think you're going, hmm? I will crunch that butterfly. Clive here is off to see the Archduke. Right. So wait. Sunrise, sunset. Is trouble brewing? I'm not sure. I need to speak with Father. Oh. First time ever I'm here. Make sure all the crystals are accounted. Never seen this part of the game before. before we lose the light. The most energetic jump you could ask for. Oh. All right. Let's get this. Stop on. Menu. Items. Learning. Okay, let's just go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Notice the brand? We now know that that brand is worn by Barras from the active time law at the start of the... when we started this. Who had traded as slaves across borders. And then Torgal lore. Five's faithful friend. Brought back from one of Archduke Elwyn's expeditions to the frozen northern territories. We was found half starved and shivering in a snowfield, having presumably been separated from his pack. Elwyn gifted the puppy to Clive upon his return. The two became nigh inseparable. Yeah. Good as new. Uh, 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 forgive me, Lord Marquess. Pray do not concern yourself with this bungling cur. Bow to him, you fool. Uh, 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 I say to speak. That dude's body language. It's funny. It was no trouble, really. Like shivering. Oh, do not indulge him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind deserves. Why, neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. <laughs> stand, please. Start. Listen to a man. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. As do we all, my lord. As do we all. Come along now. Back to your duties. <laughs> Torgal. Torgal is great. Oh, great. Looks like they're getting ready for supper. Check this out. <laughs> I think someone's hungry. So what we're seeing here is the whole world in this, they're utilizing crystal magic for like everyday concerns, like even just water or lighting a fire and so on. Wheat harvests down again. Important detail to uh, pay attention to. Nice and quiet in here. Here we see it again. This dude Where's is Joshua? using arrow to cut the tree. Not that I've ever been here before, but you know. It's an important detail that the crystals in this world grant them powers, which they require by now. They've grown so very used to in their everyday life. Wait, Joshua? Joshua! Who are? Clive? I... 
Are you worried about the war? The soldiers will expect the Phoenix to help them, but I don't know if I can. Don't worry, Joshua. Father will guide you. He will just mass rest them all. And I will protect you. Always. Kind of hope that that's what happened. I know. Thank you, Clive. I want to see a mass rest. Resurrect everyone. That child is the future of our nation. He must be protected. All other concerns are insignificant. You bitch. Oh. Do you heard me? <gasps> Push the door. <laughs> Pretty nice looking castle. Good luck. That face reminds me of Ember. Commanded my presence, Your Grace. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. Your mother isn't here. <laughs> Do the territories fare any better? Most lie under a pall of black. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. About that. The Deadlands. Barren waste bereft of ether. Right. Ether. Side product of the crystals granting people the ability to cast magic. <coughs> the barren waste bereft of ether where no life stirs, and magic is all but unusable. Here, both earth and water are stained black, preventing any seed from quickening. In recent years, the blight has spread ever more widely, displacing whole nations before it, driving once peaceable fauna to violent desperation and leaving sullen devastation in its wake. Important bit right there. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. By the flames. Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the Deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the mother. About that. The mother crystals. Enormous glassy mountains. Five of which tower over the lands of Valasthea. They are the source of all the crystals that the people of the twins rely on in their everyday lives. Not only that, but the lands surrounding them are rich with ether making the magics the crystals cast even more potent. For these reasons, great nations have sprung up around each mother crystal and have long warred with each other for possession of the blessings. A very important bit. The crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the blight. The iron blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Am I to go with you as Joshua's shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. I really like the, the father's voice. It's cool. You will have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. 
That throne just does not look comfy. It is time to prove your strength. And shut your mother up for good. Hmm? <clears throat> I will do my duty, your grace. Okay. That will be all. Rest well. We ride at dawn. Yes, your grace. Got it. Thanks, Dad. Go and rest. Although, we, we should soak in the scenery of the balcony here. But, you know, this is totally me doing this for the first time and not like the third time. So, um, yeah. I'm soaking in the scenery. Looking pretty good. But yes, we're kind of in a hurry. I'm trying to get through this so we can get to the actual new bits that are not the demo part, not the prologue of the game. be away this time not long four days maybe five and you will be taking Joshua well I can't exactly leave him behind can I the blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins before going to war we perform the rite at Phoenix Gate it's our way you know that and only the dominant can enter the apothecary so yes I'm taking Joshua Oh, to hell with your way! The boy is ill. You think I don't know that? But the boy is also the phoenix. The heir to the throne. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. Elwyn! Don't worry. Clive will watch over him. Though he is a youth of but 15 years, he's already a fine soldier. Side like eye. a splendid shield. You see more in him than the Phoenix did. He was rejected, Elwyn. Our household has no place for such a failure. He is worthless. A man like any other. As am I, my dear. <laughs> Nonsense. You are the Archduke of Rosaria. Oh, my lion. You know as well as I do that I only sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time. I am merely... Hey. <sighs> Tell me about yourself. Um... Okay, maybe not yet. Not yet, hold on. Hold on. Warming the seat till Joshua comes of age. Hold on. You are your father's firstborn son, and you sit upon the throne. All is in its right He's place. sitting on the throne right now, too. Unlike some, you have not disgraced our noble blood. Oh. Without men like Clive to keep us safe, your precious noble blood would long since have graced the gutter. We have an early start. I'm going to sleep. Sheesh, the bitterness in her eyes, man. All right. Um, not yet? Okay. Fine. Annabella Bitchfield. Um, it was not only her beauty, but her connection to a bloodline that produced many previous dominants of the Phoenix that led to her being proposed as a bride for the young Archduke. Indeed, the two are cousins. Having known from a young age that her purpose in life was to preserve her phoenix-bearing bloodline, she dotes on Joshua and scorns Clive. 
Tell us about the dominant. Those within whom sleeps the power of an icon. Though they look and think no differently to any other man or woman, they can not only cast elemental magics without a crystal, but also transform themselves into beasts of world-shattering strength at any moment, a quality for which they are honored, worshipped, and feared the realm over. Pretty badass. Hey, look! It's it's the it's the Tsuki wo Miteida This is it, then. Time to prove yourself. Wishing on a star. I'm a little old for that. I should get some sleep. Right. So. You're going with them tomorrow, aren't you? I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. He takes too many risks. I only wish I could save him from himself. Clive, you... I have another mission too. Father has given me my first command. Well, if you're not going to pray to Metia for your safe return, I shall just have to do it for you. Oh, Metia. <laughs> the burning red star that sits beneath the moon. Folklore ascribes to Metia the role of messenger bearer to the moon. So it is common custom across Valestia to wish upon the star that one's heartfelt desires might be conveyed to the heavens and beyond. Ah. I knew the red star had to be something. My oh, man. No. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Since coming here, I've begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. But it never really ends, does it? No. The next war will be bigger than before. But you'll be all right, won't you, Clive? You're a shield of Rosaria, after all, and blessed by the Phoenix. Like, come on, that's that's your second chance to go for it. If not your third. Oh. It's getting cold. We should go in. Clive, my man. My lady. <laughs> Good night, Clive. The boy needs training. Matia, Red Star. Sorry, Ambrosia. I won't be hunting today. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll do brilliantly. Mm, I'll try. <laughs> Good luck! What a charmer. Free! 
friends. We ride for Phoenix Gate. Yeah. May the blessing of the crystals go with us. And shield the fireless flame forevermore. Oh. As grace departs, open the gates. Bring it on. Lord Rossfield, hey, hold on. Me. I shall. Can you tell me about Ambrosia? Born in the stables of Rosalith Castle, Ambrosia was chosen by the young Clive Rossfield to be his personal steed and raised by him from a chick. She is a proud bird and deeply loyal to her master, quickly turning her beak upon any, be any but he who should attempt to pet her. Good. We are safely to Phoenix Gate. Thank you. Good chicken. We're ready to depart, my lord. May I say what an honor it is to serve alongside you. This is to be no mere investigation. If there are goblins in Stillwind, they won't leave willingly. The beastmen are a fierce foe. It's we time for the goblins. Not today, we won't. Sir Wade, Sir Tyler, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. As you command. To the marshes, then. You know, I'm still surprised they weren't called Biggs and Wedge. Every fun of Biggs and Wedge. And you're just always waiting for it. Alright. They want us to go there. Still wind. Before we enter still wind, I'll be right back in just a second. Hold on. Keep rocking. We travel to Stillwind to take care of the encroaching goblins, beastmen, and on the loose. Keep your eyes open for those goblins. The reports placed them in this area. It's all swamps from here. Watch your step, my lord. <laughs> and everything else. Cool. No, 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 audio crackling. Don't, don't, no, no, no. We don't want that. Wait, can I get skills now? I've got ability points now. Hey, this is the first time I totally see that, but let me just show you the beautiful iconography there in the background. Pay attention to it. You see the phoenix back there? Oh, it looks so good. The individual abilities here. 
You know, you should totally get the demo and try this for yourself and just check out how cool the abilities look. Charged magic. Ooh. Stomp. Swift recovery. Taunt. Burning blade. You know, we, we tried this one before. This one has like a strangely long um, hold down the button to activate time. Because they like hold to imbue class wave with fire. But I don't, I don't get it. You know what? We'll get lunch because we need the stinger because Devil May Cry commands us to. In case you were curious, yes, um, the combat director for this game is the one from Devil May Cry. Not exactly the most well-maintained path. That's pretty but awesome. Who do you imagine would maintain it? Fled from the light. Oh, so I can just. Yeah. It's hard to believe that anyone used to live here. Oh, the look at that! Village of Stillwind is ahead. I had it Not wrong yesterday because I was doing attack, and then I was holding square. And then letting go. He just does a down slam. But you can actually do this anytime. See, I'm holding square. So it's burning and looking sexy. But you can do a jump attack. Or you can hold it, run around, and jump. And fire even. And do that. Well, that changes things. That really does change it all. Pretty cool. Waka waka. Life is study in chat. Let's do a show of hands. Who of you? With me. Let's try the game already. Or get the demo. Stabbed his ass! That's right! Goblins. So the reports were true. We should press on. There may be more ahead. You're, ta you're doing the dancing penguin. Does that mean? Would you look at that? Don't you have a PlayStation? <sighs> Demo is free. Welcome to Stillwind. Have care, my lord. Speed buff. There's more. Not quite. Oh, what's going on? Loot? Right. My god, the goblin actually hit me! Down with you! Telling you. Could be much better. Could do this without being hit. Weakest kick around. Uh. Couldn't get into Final Fantasy XIV because the map was weird? Navigation was too confusing? Because it's like a multiple instance zones. It's not really an open world, unfortunately. 
like restricted freedom. It's actually my key issue with 14 as well, in a way. It's like one of my major issues for real. And I play it every time there's a new expansion. Watch out, my lord. Some of their number of spells. And what a number. We'll all have our hands full here. Ability finish gives extra points. That's right. We kick. We should be nearing the old village square. It might not be a nest of goblins. No, 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 definitely not. Not this one. Any other, not this. Yeah, 14 could have some quality of life or a decent bunch of things. It's quite open now. If you think about it. Sneaky sods. We're trapped. My lord. I'm working on it. He's like, I'm I'm thinking who I'm gonna kill it first. He's the leader. Because he's got the stupidest head. But we'll have to take care of his followers first. <laughs> care to thin the herd? As if you have to ask. Whoa! <laughs> And then there was one. Oh. Not playing very good right now. Uh. Oh, big chungus. Your feet swayed. Here it comes. That's a swing and a half. Uh -huh. You ready to move when it winds up for another? Don't have to tell me twice. Yeah! Yeah! Break him! <sighs> Halfway break! You see that weird stagger bar the enemy has? Yeah, that's the break bar, and then they. They look funny if you break them. This is when you want to go build deep zone that oh, oh, oh. one thousand six hundred sixty-nine damage. Ay, 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 ay. Holy shit! Seven times in a row? That was, that was pretty spicy, you know? Oh! Shit! That was kind of cool. It's a little awkward to like push both buttons at the same time. But... And the music's good, alright? Oh my god, I'm just 
just taking every hit I can. Oh! Can you die? Yeah. Couldn't have done it better myself. Slap the ball. Hey, a neat little uh, thing. Um, the XP icon is the exact same one as in Final Fantasy fourteen. Kind of funny little bit, you know. <laughs> One could say the people who made Final Fantasy XIV kind of made this... No. What? Come back and fight, you coward! You coward! After him, before he summons the rest. Oh, we got more points. We can spend some points and we can... Oh, God, crazy. We can get stomp or charged magic. There do you have it. Now we got some more fancy going on. There he is. You little cock. Uh. Damn it. Yep, that's that's right. This is a game where you have choices or illusion of choices. I actually don't know. I don't know yet. My gut feeling tells me illusion of choices. I don't think this is like RPG in the terms of this Elder Scrolls now. or something. Don't think so. I think Devon may cry. Like your choices are like, what skills do you want to get? Um, and maybe a little bit for like different armor and weapons. God of War ish, you know, those kind of games. Oh, the music's just so cool. Keep clear of its more, my lord. That thing's breath is worse than its bite. I don't rate. Got both charged. Oh, that's cool. That was pretty nice. I, I'll, you know, I think it was pretty cool. I was hitting the dodger, right? Just saying. In case you wonder, I was hitting the dodge button. No, I'm, I'm just playing so bad. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, shit! No, you don't! Oh, step! Wow! Do it again. Now! Before it recovers! That was, that was good damage. 
Up attacks, they, they feel pretty awkward because you need to charge so long. Oh, shit! So I don't do more damage to them in his back. He won't be gone for long. No. I cannot fall here. Hey. Now for the final push, my lord. but the finish was good that's what mattered okay but that's all that mattered Job's done. the blight did this all right goblins that, that, yeah, that's a goblin. The Talos are wait, they're, 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 they're the buddies. All right. My lord. Thanks. Hmm. I never thought I'd see it. Not just goblins in Rosaria, but more balls too. I'll petition his grace to send a detachment. If we don't stop them here, they'll be at our gates before long. We should get moving. We don't want to be caught out here after dark. If we set off now, we can still reach Phoenix Gate before nightfall. You know, combat is feeling really cool. Like Devil May Cry cool. But... You know those two charge attacks I have? They feel a little awkward Damn to use. Because I feel like they take too long to charge. 
But that could be part of uh, when you can upgrade and master a skill, it might reduce the time that you have to hold the button for it to activate. Could be nice. Could be pretty nice. Alright, here we go. Now we have proven ourselves, cleared out Steelwind, killed the gobbos, and now we head for Phoenix Gate. Oh, you got an actual chair? What? Long last? That was more. Suddenly, thousands of red eyes. No, wait till you hear this. Wait till you hear this. His lordship draws. This dude has the biggest bread around. Look at that. That slice of bread is literally bigger than his head. I want bread like that. Go on. Sword. The goblin chief runs off screaming. Straight down our mama's gullet. More tales. Drink and be merry, boys. More tale of ales. Must be gratifying to see your student making such a name for himself. The young lord has a bright future ahead of him. Aye. And one of these nights, he may even deign to join us. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're all drunk. Are you unwell? No, father. Just a little tired. Well, it has been a long day. They all like Clive, don't they? Aye. Your brother will be a fine shield. Hold on. Very proud of him. Cooked carrots suck? Raw is superior? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's the opposite way. Father? Why is it that the dominance is always born into our family? It doesn't seem fair. We cannot live without the blessing of the crystals. And the crystals work their magic through us. You have been blessed, Joshua. Blessed to be a dominant, to wield the power of an icon. Pay attention here. Our family tell has us how been chosen works. to share that power with the people. What else can you tell me? Mm. We know that Phoenix Gate is like an important, uh, Citadel they've got, where there is the pot of tree underneath it, which is like a part, like an area where the dominance can communicate with the ancestors, apparently. We are part of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria, that's where our heroes are from right now. I, I don't think we need to know the rest. We read that yesterday. So Not that, that we ever read it before, of course. Do. having a good time. I don't suppose 
Are you doing one sing? Too much praise. Poor Jill. She'll be wondering where you've got to. So much for you being a fine hound. Your dock or is it hers, huh? So this is where you've been hiding. What are you doing out here? I didn't see you at the feast. Feasts are the only time shields are allowed to take their ease, and... I've never really been one for cakes and ale. It's the vegetables I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the vegetables. Or oh, can you tell me new? Anything we don't know? No, okay. I hear you slew a marble. Torgal is just the, the best. Singing your best addition. They never used to. When I joined the ranks, everyone thought I was a spoiled little lordling. If I didn't know how to handle a sword, I'd be a laughing stock. The Archduke's firstborn failure. You're the one they really believe in. I'm jealous. That's not true. They don't believe in me. They believe in the power of the dominant. My brother the Phoenix. Ruler over life and death. It isn't fair. It should have been you. I don't have what it takes to lead our people. I don't have the strength. But you do. Every man has his duty. Ours was decided long ago, when our ancestors chose to instate the dominant as the Archduke of Rosaria. All to ensure right. that whenever our nation stood on a precipice, the Phoenix would rise from the flames to drag us back from the brink. The fate of Rosaria sits on the dominant's shoulders. It is your duty to bear that burden. What about you? I was born to be your shield. That is why I was given the Phoenix's blessing. To keep our future rulers safe. No matter what. However hard it gets. I'll never let you down. He's never gonna give him Thank up. Thank you, Clive. I know you'll always take care of me. Turn around and desert him. <coughs> Before I can do that, you need to take care of yourself. Right? I should go inside. It's past my bedtime. Rick rolled the whole stream. Good night, Torgal. You are welcome. That's just how it is in here. It's been Monday after all. We could have been just normal men. We're just innocent men. Can't see shit. Got the stupid visor on my head. from the capital. You took your time sampling the wearers, were you? <laughs> <laughs> Bastard. 
It's a good job the North is full of enterprising traders keen to keep us in wine. Spare a barrel for the boys in the eh? What in the... Damn, dude, they're quick. Quick to the slicing. Just like that. I'm in. But look at these ones just marching in. Gateway secured, Captain. We proceed as planned. We proceed as planned. Don't waste my time. You know, little Joshua right here is always sleeping bed already. Still a cool trick. You literally just set a fire. I take my sword. Forgive me, my prince. It's me, Wade. You probably don't remember me. I remember. What is it? We're under attack. I don't know who they are, but they've set light to half the castle. I must get you to safety, your highness. Very well. I'm ready. Why, why is he so particular? Half the castle. Did you check? Maybe it's more. Oh, it's so cool with the little lighting flame. All right, we know how this works. First the time we're doing this. Are inside the castle? I'm afraid so, Your Highness. We must hurry. You know, whatever settings I've changed. Obviously, the game looks normal now compared to yesterday but it also looks better like kind of crisper or something graphics more hd but sharper or something like that what was that i have to help them. i think my cable was really messed up <gasps> everything's on fire yeah Fall everything's back, on fire as is he no, whoa i must do my duty Oh, that is just looking so damn cool. They made the magic look amazing in this. I saw them at the feast. They were laughing. This is Sambra Quagab. But why would the Empire... We must find my father. Right. They were laughing at the feast. So he was mourning for their fellow people, right? Yeah. Kept wondering that last time. This is the first time. Of course. Yo! This place is lit! And his head is split. Damn it, the bastards are everywhere. Why would the Empire do this? They're our allies. No more. Now, now they ain't. Um. Uh, moshi Moshi? I have the dominant. What a team they are. I shoot. He split. Oh no, Tyler. Tyler! Damn it! 
Damn it! His wounds are deep. I can save him. I'll burn you. Your Highness, I... I... But those are happy flames. They heal. Don't worry. Like, don't I'll touch me. Right. I'll hold them off. The hero! Clive! Joshua! Come here. Tyler, you're hurt. I'll survive. Thanks to his highness. He's a philanthropist. Lord Murdoch! Rescued the young prince. What do we know about this? Okay, we're still good. Well done, we know the rest. I'm in your debt, soldier. Thank you, Your Grace. We cannot stay here. We should make straight for the rear gate. He's telling us this is the spicy chicken. Owls capable of transmitting thoughts of others. Long story short, he's telling his thoughts to the owl and the owl can send that to that particular person and only the, that person can get that message. Pretty fancy. They put that in their crystal in their head. And the incantation Omiya lost Elan to Isakalith means my will is now thy burden ne'er a cleft a bond shall be may the winds speed you to rosalith i think he's talking to his wife a the telephone bed there are chocobos in the stables father Take Joshua and get to safety. No, I'm not going without you. You're supposed to be my shield, remember? Oh, you already forgot. I remember, which is why I'm going to hold the enemy here while you make your escape. I will order our remaining forces to rally at the gate. Now go. <laughs> I will do my duty. You must do your duty too. I... I know. You have to keep father safe. I'm counting on you, Joshua. Time for murder. We got murder with us, so it's pretty appropriate. But you bastard! You fired! <sighs> you son of a gun! Dead. 
Not everyone. Damn it all. <laughs> Hello there. None escape. Found that, command. buddy. You take care of that spellcaster. I'll we'll keep do. the others occupied. He's <laughs> gone. Forevermore. Ooh. Oh, he's still alive. Sorry about that. Dead. That's them done. Are you all right? I'm fine. It's my father and Joshua I'm worried about. We should head back. But enter the dragoon. That's my Five, look out! Oh! Yeah. May I have this dance? He's an Imperial Dragoon. And you are the shield who was blessed by the Phoenix. Not that it will save you. He's actually uh, using jump. Stay still, damn you. Oh. Harry, you square just as important to X to parry the... Oh, I can parry? He's open! Oh. I pushed the wrong button! Oh my god! No! Five! Oh. Oh. Son of a bitch! You're dead. This dance is over! I, I was trying to parry, alright? Done with the parry practice. Okay, that was pretty badass. Right? I was chasing him into the sky. I'm feeling pretty good about that.
Ora, 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 ora! Are you hurt? I'm fine. Yare, yare, deze. So, they sent in the dragoons. Imperial vipers. Do they really mean to invade Pretty us? Pretty fucking awesome. Not yet. Their numbers were too few. They were not here to take the castle. They were here to take heads. Our work is done. We should return to my father. My lord, look. We issued these sashes but yesterday. In Rosalith. If they were already among us, what if there were others? Father and Joshua are in danger. We must hurry. Take your steed. Uh oh. <laughs> Splitting haddocks. What is that? The helicopter. No. Uh, Emmet Silk. Found you. We know anything about that? No? Okay. Hmm. Oh, you're all right. Thank goodness. Yeah, that is good. Your Grace, is everyone safe? For the moment. We ride for Rosalith to rally our forces. I will need your help to see Joshua safely back to the capital. On you get Joshua. Hmm? He's taking the puppy. Oh! No, the chicken. Father? Where's Torgal? I'm sorry, Your Grace, but that won't be possible. You sick bastard, you kilted message chicken. You are one of the snakes. Stay back, I'm warning you. Run, Joshua, run. No. Take a moment to consider what just happened. What's going on with Torgal? You must do your duty too. You have to keep Father safe. I have to. I had to. Safe, okay. I'll, I'll, it's all good. Oh. He's looking so cool. Mm. Oh. Okay, they're all crispy now. It looks so damn good. The Phoenix! Joshua! Lord Murdoch! His Highness! Joshua! Stop this! He's lost control! I have to do something! I have to save him! No, my lord! Fall back! <laughs> Clive! Oh! Hey, the misery just keeps going on. Thank you, Carl. You saved my life. 
Get her on her feet and run. Please. Joshua, are you in pain? His shield. Do your duty. Save him. My lord. What in the name? What the hell is that? Hey, the Phoenix, the Warden of Fire, whose strength resides within Joshua Rossfield. Heir to the Rosarian throne, the phoenix is always born in the Ducal line and is worshipped by the people populace. Not least because its flames of both destruction and regeneration have delivered the duchy from disaster many times over. You are... shot though with the moon and everything and here we are we're finding ourselves right at the start of the game with a little more insight Technically, he wasn't... He wasn't doing much yet, he was just standing around, right? Okay. He says that, but he kind of went first for the attack, didn't he? Anyways, um... Let's fight. Icon? Icon? I find it, you know, it's quite funny how he says it now. I'll kill you! I'll, I'll do it. I'm good at it. I think. Icon can hear you. It, it was a... I can't hear you. For the location, I have to save them. Can't open active time law right now. But what we know is 
What we know is this is the auditory. It's like underneath the castle and everything, and it's a place where the dominant of the phoenix can communicate with their ancestors. The four important battles, apparently. Wait, the sound cutting out and crackling that's my my PC. Don't worry about it. But at least we don't have the flame here. Damnation. Yeah. wonder how I end up in this situation. Wave flies out. So cool. And those two are screwed. doesn't let up. This was really cool. Like the spiral flame. Uh, and like I said, basically like these icons, they're like nuclear war weapons kind of level of destruction. This scene is just so gruesome. Stop 
I'll kill you! I'll fucking kill you! Fuck. That intro just hits like a truck. He'll oblige. Quite a mess that monster made. Damn shame about the Phoenix, but can't be helped. Oh, my condolences, Your Grace. Is there aught we can do? <laughs> Haven't you done enough, Captain? Joshua was my world, and now he is gone. I can only pray there will be a place for me in the world his radiance seeks to create. Who? Because, like, this active time lore updates sometimes on the go, like this one Duchess of Rosaria, wife of Archduke Elwyn, mother to Clive and Joshua. It was ever her purpose in life to preserve her phoenix-bearing bloodline, for which reason she betrayed her husband, that she might enter in league with a force she judged the mightier, the holy empire of Sunbreak. It was Annabella's treachery that led to the disaster at Phoenix Gate. Well, now we have a target to kill. The focus of our revenge. Your Grace, over here. I found a handsome one. The rubble must have protected him from the worst of the flames. Shall we take him prisoner? No need for that. Kill him. Hmm. Wait. As my husband never tired of telling me, he is a fine soldier. <laughs> I'm sure he would make an excellent addition to the Imperial front line. All in its right place. <laughs> Found it kind of funny how the one on the left looked all like, oh, a sword on my neck. Oh, nice. <gasps> The blessing of the phoenix. The boon Joshua bestowed upon his brother upon Clive's ordination as first shield, allowing him to wield fire aspected magic without a crystal. It has long been custom Rosaria for the dominant of the phoenix to share a part of the power in this way, performing this rite of rejuvenation upon those they appoint as the protectors that they might serve them the better. Interesting. Take this one. <laughs> Chin up, lad. You're going to be a soldier. Yeah, just like Cloud. Oh. Prologue done. Oh. And that's the finish of the demo. If we were to play the demo, this is the full game we're playing here. And he's now a bearer with that mark on his cheek. Time out. Uh, Murdoch was shocked that there was a second icon of fire. Do we think that there's only supposed to be one of each element? So far, it seems that way. When we saw the world map, we see five big crystals. We see fire, earth, darkness, thunder, and ice. And it seems like, like from his wording, like there can only be one icon of fire. Same thing Joshua was saying earlier too. 
But now they have, like, they're surprised. They're like, wait, but there's, there's more. And now, Wyvern, a slave soldier for the Holy Empire of Sunbreak now, in his 13th year of servitude. Though drafted as a frontline infantryman, the magical might granted him by the blessing of the Phoenix quickly saw him promoted to an elite squadron of assassins, where he was assigned the moniker by which he is now known. Their latest mission, to descend into the Nicer Defile, where bloody battle rages between the Iron Kingdom and the Republic of Delmechia, and take the head of Shiva's Dominant. They're basically like, what, you had a name? No, no, no. You're Wyvern now. Gotta say, I, I like how the time shift was happening in this intro, actually. It's pretty cool. Welcome back. Sorry. What's our situation? Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't made things any easier. Blast. I see, like, Clive was calling earlier when Blast was, sorry, BS, getting smashed. He was like, brother. Because I think this dude's just traumatized, you know? People close to him, he's just losing. They kill his father. They kill the funky owl. Chocobo gets hurt. He doesn't know where Torgal is. His brother is dead. Now Blast is dead. Shit. He's having a bad Sunday. And? It's as you thought. The Crusaders have sounded the retreat. Then we follow. We're down a man, Sergeant. If we return without Shiva's head, our fate will be no different from Beast's. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. After you do, that is. He said I wouldn't die today. I won't be dying. Not today. Then it's settled. No dying. Now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. That Ava's dude is just way too smooth. New iconic abilities. Ooh, claiming redeemable items. And we still can't save here. But we'll do that. I'll get to the same point I was at yesterday, by the way. So, give me just a second. Be right back. And I've returned. 
a bunch more water. All right. Back to the fight. I've got 196 points. I could... Master Burning Blade. Um. Wait. Details. Reduces time required to imbue blade with fire. Yes. Okay. I mean, there's new iconic abilities like the Heat Wave and Flames of Rebirth, which are looking pretty amazing. Um. But with that much points, you can you can do two kicks with mastery? All right. Hmm. Oh, okay. See, when I was thinking taunt. I thought it was kind of meant to be in a way that... Um, also, by the way, let me move my webcam. Yeah, this way we can easier see the video. Be a better spot. Um, I thought taunt was just going to be like, if you have like allies around, they're likely to attack you. But this is... With taunt, you make that an enemy attacks you... Um, so they attack you right away, so you can try to get a parry or precision dodge going. But still seems awkward because you have to hit R2 and D pad. Like, not D pad, uh, touch pad. Seems a bit awkward. What's the mastery do? Oh, higher distance? Okay. Down thrust? Imbues blade with fire. The down thrust makes the blade imbued with fire? Okay, anyways, I get the burning blade mastery. So that I can, uh... I can do this. Yeah, this is much better. Only the girl holding its so much better. <laughs> this this feels, feels right now. Some skills just need the mastery. Sure. There were no arrows. I wouldn't know where to go. The old trails are gone. It'll be hell finding a way out. Do you think a retreating army and their dominant will fare any better? See, like people just slaughtered on mass by the attack of the attack on Titan <laughs> and Shiva. By the flames. Yeah. This is how you can quick dodge, jump and dodge. <laughs> Quick movements. Because if you regular dodge, she does like this little move at the end that decelerates you. But this way, I can feel like I'm moving fast. It's time to play video games. Did you hear that? Down there. So, Titan has knocked the fight out of our iron blood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. King Fat! Bitzler! Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her. The dominant? Are you certain? The crystalline orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people. What do we know about that? 
<gasps> There's many words being shown here. The bastards. Hmm. All of its members, including its leader Tiamat, are bearers. Branded man pressed into servitude for their ability to wield magic. Branded soldier. Bearers forced to fight for the nation, nations that enslaved them. Able to cast powerful magics, yet entirely disposable. They are often placed on the front lines in battle or assigned to highly dangerous scouting or assassination missions. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominance are unclean aberrations, born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. Hmm? We end this quickly. What does it mean? Priming. Shrinkscott! Adion in here, Sagarid! Jada, must be Isla. We know anything about this whole priming thing? No. I feel like it'd be worth knowing what that means. What alvation now can Alan Scully asked? Hey, was that he, the same voice actor than Tiama? I think it is. Yeah, look at him go. Let this be the end. Alright. Well. Avis! I guess we're fighting her. Gladly. Wife, you focus on the target. Understood. No, hold on. Not focusing on top ice. There we go. Now I do. Oh. What? Hey, I was in the midst of like my fancy Phoenix animation, I couldn't dodge. It wouldn't let me. Slapped. The music is so good. Orders, Sergeant. Stop talking and move. Fucking icon. Icon? She's not even fully primed. Hey, I was I was dodging on time, alright? Why much appreciated? Sheesh! Right. I will not have their blood on my hands. Jesus Christ. Calm down, girl. I, I'm telling you, I hit that button so well on time, you have no idea. Pizza girl. Mm, 
both fire and thingy charge. Look at that. Whoa! Slap. At last. See, I was like doing the crazy slice everything. Yeah. She sounded happy. She's like, at last. A frozen tear. And as she thought, she shed tears of ice, which shattered in the blood-stained earth below. A Dalmarcan soldier's account of the Battle of Nice a year after Realm 873. That's right now. So she was actually crying tears of ice then. That's kind of sad. Um, hey, anyway, they're still six, so that's kind of whatever. <sighs> Bloody. Is she dead? I don't think so. Well, what are you waiting for? The lore. Nope, we're up to up to speed. Alas. Now he realizes. No, no, that not you, not here. Oh, I'll bloody do it then. It's been thirteen years. Oh. Mm. Ooh. Give me a moment. Getting myself a girl. What the hell are you doing? Lord Ohilda Vedra! Get your ass over here and help me with these bastards! You moved to like three meters. I'm sorry, Jill. <laughs> but he is just done with life by now. wrong with you, Wyvern? The Dominant. I know her. Know her? Whoa. Look Whoa. around you! Whoa, yeah, yeah, you yeah. These animals there. I need you here! Flying. Uh, wait, did you just burn his cock off? I think that's what just happened. Now that's done. I won't ask you again, Wyvern. Take her head so we can be done with this. I, I can't. I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? Yes. Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your Emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. And you think I don't? The Empire will have our heads if we return empty handed. <gasps> so if you won't take <sighs> hers, I'll have to take yours. Oh! I told you, Sergeant. I'm not dying here today, and neither is she. Let's find out. Oh. Too slow. Oh. Wyvern? Have you forgotten from the front lines? Who trained you? 
Who gave you a name when you had none? You speak as if we don't bear the same brand, son. I've always had a name, and I've not forgotten it. Still clinging to the past like a I, I didn't blanket. pay attention to it like it's dialogue and yesterday. I was so in the combat, but now... should have 13 years ago. It's really cool. I do have a name. Holy oh shit, that was badass! But I, I got really badly hit by that. For nothing! No one! And I will not fall by your hand! How about that? You know, you just might. I was charging up my attack, all right? Traitor Scar! Not this time. I'll take your head. All right, he's doing like a combo of attacks when he does end ruin. Too slow. Broken! Crispy! Oh, mm. Get out! Bested. I'm better than him. Would it? Muted it? Yeah. <gasps> How come he was not even trying to fight? Maybe he's tired. He looks tired. <sighs> hey. This is a really good use of slow-mo. Very nice animation for lightning. <gasps> yes, it's Torgo! And this one. This way. Bloody wind. Well, come on then. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> there goes his allegiance. But seriously, in this moment, like, Torgal is just not even big hype. Just like, okay. Hugo dear, my proud desert lion. With that you had taken care when chasing the hare. I expected more from the mighty Titan. You put the Ice Queen on her back, no mm. doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this price. My lady, the thunder. We'll be hearing more soon enough. You always were a fucking snake, Sid. 
Gather the men. We have work to do. Interesting bit about um, facial expressions in this one. Lots of like nose and eyebrow wrinkles to express like, you know, when they're getting frustrated and stuff. Nice. Jill. Is it really you? And he just spent like five minutes beating the shit out of her. And who's this fine hound I see before me? Now he realizes? A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. Torgal. Hey. His name is Torgal. You two acquainted? Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. <gasps> Come now, fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumors that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. For where. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up. No. Ah! Not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. <laughs> and dude. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, 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 Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. There could have been a sweeter reunion with Torgal, though. Let's be real. Like when they first found them. Like, when the smoke appeared and Sid showed up, that's when Torgal should have been, like, chasing, like, towards uh, Clive and been, like, super excited. That's what a good boy would have done. What happened? Huh? Okay, let's go to the hideaway. The withered remnants of a once a verdant valley, long consumed by the blight. One would have to be either extremely foolish or extremely desperate, or extremely desperate fool, to make this wasteland to home. And a behemoth. About to finish, man. Catching up where I was yesterday. The Deadlands. Not much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight suck this place dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look. You're just tuning in to hear Lorath. Lorath Nar. Home sweet home. <clears throat> so, we're in the middle of like a blighted area, which means no magic casting.
Cool architecture. Interesting bit. His brand was like off. This place. This place. The Fallen. An ancient yet highly advanced civilization whose relics can be found across the length and breadth of Alasthea. The material from which these relics are constructed is far sturdier than steel and cannot be worked by modern methods. The people of the modern day have elected to build inside and around them instead. Um. Well. We know all about that. That's his hideaway. That's Adolphus Talman. That's all we know. That's Guts. Gentle Giant. His hideaway. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? <gasps> so, the blight is like this thing in this world that's like sucking up all the ether and making areas like unlivable, kind of. But... The fallen ruins keep the blight away. How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nerve. You must wish Darwin. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. You're back. Ah, so are you. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. But, but none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solar. Hide, hide away. This is the spot. Ah, this is the spot where we... Save it up for the night. Right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because... Hey, everyone. We've made it. We've made it. Oh, I've caught up to yesterday, which I totally didn't start the game at. And this is totally the first day of playing it. But no, as you know, um, started the game yesterday. But I had lots of visual issues and audio issues, and most of it, like 90% of the issues, seem resolved now. There's still the occasional audio crackle going on, which is something with the capture card and its signal, which apparently was not fixed with the cable. But, hey, I resolved all the other issues, which is great, especially the visuals being good now, and uh, my PC not crashing, which is another great thing. But yeah, that's good. So tomorrow we can actually continue right here. Only took a day to catch up to it, but you know how it is. It wouldn't be a Euphoenix stream if I didn't restart a game to get the proper intro going. Right. Okay. It's almost 4 a.m. over here. I've been live for about four hours. And I'm pretty damn tired already. I was tired when I started the stream, but I wanted to make sure we get here and we get caught up. PCIe connection? That's my thinking, but I don't have any other slot available. That's the problem. Yeah. I'll look into it again, but I... Unfortunately... Um... Just got too much things taken care of right now before the stream. 
But I'm also still gonna look into the whole um, VTubing thing. Still very interested to do that. Be fun once I get to it. Remove, check for dust, reconnect. I could do that. I'll give that a try tomorrow, yeah. Um, I pretty much tried everything except that. I had to switch the cable though. My super good cable was not super good. So I used this a very cheap HDMI cable and that's better. Okay. Well then. All of you. Um, we have a Discord. I feel like you're all part of it already, but if you aren't, do feel free to join us. The link is right there in the chat. You can also find it down below in the panels and all the other important links and information whatsoever. Um, get more info from the friends of YouTubing. Excellent. Um, feel free to send me that over. Um, I just can't check it right now because after the stream, I'll, I'll literally just go to sleep. Um, but tomorrow I might be able to check it. I should be. It's on my to-do list. And I'm usually pretty good at working on my to-do list. It's just I have so many things that I take care of, so the list is going... getting pretty extensive. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm getting through it. It's just... tonight, streamed a bit longer than I usually should. Means less sleep, but I'll get through it, don't worry. Eventually I'll, I'll get caught up with everything so I have more time to stream again. Because, hey, the plan is to do Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on YouTube. And um, Final Fantasy 16 here on Twitch. That's the plan. I have enough energy to do all of it. Which is why wearing this fine Elgato cap um, is pretty nice. It actually works pretty cool with the light, so like, you know, it's not so in the eyes. And I didn't have to do my hair, so that's pretty good too. Right. Okay. Hey, I'm super excited to actually continue Final Fantasy 16 where we left off now to get to new things. And so far, this feels really good to play. Um, once again, of course, a massive thank you to Square Enix for supplying me with the game. Um, and the super cool event I was at two months ago, a couple uh, days ago. Yeah, overall really great. And of course a massive thank you to my ever sweet girlfriend who gifted me the collector's edition for my rebirthday. So you know, like, you know, like iconography of Phoenix and fire and... It's kind of nice, you know? The dots connecting are pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, all right. Don't know what else to say. The brain is fried, you know. It's been a long day. Time to get some sleep. Or something like that. All of you, once again, thank you for watching. Those of you who stuck around all evening. Goddamn. Stamina. Thanks for hanging out here. Thanks for lurking. Thanks for chatting. And I hope you enjoy Final Fantasy 16. If you want, and you have a PS5, there's a demo on the PlayStation 5 store. It's free, you can check it out. Um, it's a Final Fantasy that's, you know, um, new. Obviously. But, like, you know, usually every Final Fantasy title does something different about the way they play. And this one is very reminiscent of Devil May Cry, because the combat director is from that game. However, the story writing and stuff like that is from the people who also did Final Fantasy XIV, which is the online game with exquisite story. So we are in for a treat with this one. I can hear the birds chirping outside. Yeah, it's it's clock of a clock. I gotta get some sleep. All of you, thanks for watching. I hope you had a good time and it will be awesome to see you here again tomorrow evening. As always, uh, I'd like to tell you a time, but I'll probably just fail it. So, um, it's gonna be at some time. 
Look for the, the Discord announcements channel. That's what I tell you, okay? Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day, night, morning, whatsoever. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Ciao.